Hello everyone, this is Engineer, and guess what's out? Around 23 hours ago, the new Counter-Strike 2D 0.1.2.0 has been released. Yes indeed, and I have had a day of testing, and I have tested it in different ways. I tested it in scripting, in mapping, in general gameplay, and this is the first description slash impression video I'm making about it. So, the first thing you'll probably notice would be that you actually can change the language now, language of the game, yeah. Essentially, you are given a big text file with all game strings, almost all game strings in it, which you can translate into your language and use it, and thus having the game in your native language. How cool is that? There are already around six or seven full translations for Counter Strike 2D, one of them is mine as well link in the description to the Cyrillic Russian translation and basically yes you can see that if you for example change the language you can clearly see that almost every string has changed probably um, aside from these and some in the settings but mostly yeah and also with some degree of difficulty Russian letters are supported but anyway um, aside from it you can prob you can probably quite clearly see that the the server list has changed you can see that there is now well for one it's quite much wider and you can now see that there are letters next to servers which show the game mode the server is running so S for standard C for construction D for DM Z for zombie and so on actually yeah T would be TDM yeah so it's quite useful to see right away what server what game mode the server is running and also there is a new tab called recent servers it's essentially your server history you can see what servers you've joined recently and thus you can rejoin them later if you didn't happen to save them in your favorites or in some text file whichever way of keeping addresses you prefer but that would be probably it with the server list nothing new there but now the most major thing comes now you could see that loading took a little bit longer and I'll show you why so this is a test map from the pre-release to see all the um, the pre-release should basically show all the f new features and all oh, new weapons and new equipment here's the gas mask so if you throw a gas grenade and if you step in it it will begin to suffocate you but if you have a gas mask on you can walk in the harmful gas with no damage to your player. Now, night vision will save for later. Um, and you could see that there are these lights that, pro that probably look like just standard lights to you for now, but you'll see later. Now, satchel charges are remote explosives and these are the new guns which are the M134 which is an insane machine gun 
I mean 400 ammo in the clip and 800 reserve. It's a killing machine. And the FNF2000, which is a pretty standard rifle, pretty average one. Has some nice stats though. But the specifications can be seen in uh, on the official pages, I guess, I'm not really sure. But that will be a topic of a separate video if you if you would. But aside from that, this is the biggest new feature. You can see that the lights are quite sophisticated and that's because they are generated by the dynamic lighting system made by Blazing X, also known as Blazing Note today. And you can see that the lighting is absolutely dynamic. You are being lighted dynamically. The brightness varies, the angle varies, and it looks quite awesome, I might add. But to see in that darkness a new piece of equipment has been implemented, and that being the flashlight the torch. When you press F, this nifty thing comes out to light your way. You can see that it removes the darkness, but it doesn't remove the colored lights. So green still remains greenish. Of course, the yellowish light makes it a little bit different, like salad. But still, it does illuminate your way in the darkness and that in my opinion is quite awesome now also um, oh I dropped my weapons mm. also when you are in the darkness and if you shoot you can see that the muzzle flashes illuminate the area, the immediate area around you. Also, um, I can't show it right here, but the bomb actually also illuminates the, um, the, the, the darkness, basically, as do flares. Oop, whoops. Ah, there, see? And that is the dynamic lighting system. An important... Um, well, yeah, you can see that the shadows are much more sophisticated now. Now, um, one important moment is that you cannot use the dynamic lighting system on maps that are bigger than 100 by 100 tiles that is the limit for maps that can support the dynamic lighting system. It is caused by the memory usage and other things that will take a long time to explain. Essentially 100 by 100 is the max you can get. If you do it higher if you do it more, you will not be able to have the lighting system working on your map. Now, of course, seeing as this is the immediate release, and it's just been, as I said, it's been released a day ago, and there are many bugs, it is still a very good version. I I would even dare say it's probably just as good as CSTD Max when it was released. Dynamic, the dynamic lighting system, excuse me, really adds to the atmosphere of this new version. 
And also there's um, a small, a very small um, detail I got to mention. You can see that the there are uh, raindrops coming from the ceiling. But now with a special entity that is called Info No Weather, when you step into a building or in well a zone that is covered by the No Weather entity, the weather effects will disappear. It also adds to the realism of um, weather effects because, well, I mean, it's nonsense when you can see the rain or the snow inside buildings, especially on like role play maps and other uh, maps of that genre. But basically, those are the major changes. Uh, the explosions illuminate, everything's illuminated, lol. Yes. Anyway. Um, I guess that's the crash course into the new um, version. I'm still a little bit hyped up, so I might have forgotten some things. If I do remember something I had forgotten, I will make a... a a second part, I guess. I won't show the intricacies of um, lighting system entities in the editor. It will probably be a, a separate tutorial or a vid. But this is just the very first video to show you the possibilities of the new version. So let's hope DC fixes the bugs associated with the new release and um, well I guess that concludes it thank you for watching I hoped it was of use to you and cheers